And then, much like in Evil of the Daleks, the Daleks were completely destroyed and never heard from again. Welcome to the Time Treadmill. I'm Ron, and these are my sweaty thoughts about Doctor Who. Remembrance of the Daleks is one of two Seventh Doctor stories that I would recommend to any casual Doctor Who fan who wants to take a dip in the classic era. The other story being The Curse of Fenric, which I'll get to next week. On top of everything I mentioned about the story yesterday, it also includes the appearance of the Special Weapons Dalek, which is arguably the coolest Dalek in the history of Daleks. And this is coming from someone who doesn't especially like Daleks. It's just such a great story, and in many ways you can see where inspirations from the Doctor's characterization in this story show up in both the 10th and 11th Doctor eras, with the cheerful, happy exterior laid on top of a dark, manipulative, and regretfully vengeful interior. It's just such a great portrayal. And Sylvester McCoy, if I hadn't already fallen in love with him between Paradise Towers and Delta and the Bannermen, this story absolutely seals him as being in my top pantheon of Doctors. I absolutely adore this character, and in particular Sylvester McCoy's portrayal of him. And I sincerely, sincerely hope to be able to meet him again someday. The first time I met him, I hadn't actually watched his stories, and I'd like to be able to look him in the eye and thank him for his magnificent portrayal of the Doctor, so far above what I ever expected. And besides the hot Dalek on Dalek action between the renegade Daleks and the Imperial Daleks, and the big twist and turn of the Davros reveal, and then another Davros reveal, and then the Spoilers here for a 40-year-old story. Complete destruction of the planet Scarrow just comes out of nowhere and, and is fantastically done. I just don't have enough nice things to say about this story. So truly, if you're looking for something to dip your toes in in the classic series, and I know everyone recommends going back and looking at the fourth Doctor, and you should. He's phenomenal. But this story right here... This is one that would please any Doctor Who fan anywhere. And that wraps it up for today. Tomorrow is the Happiness Patrol, which I have really mixed feelings about. But we'll talk about that tomorrow. Yeah.